You are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 8 to the power x. This is equal to 30. What is the value of x? Now, solution from here. Now, to solve for x, we introduce logarithm on both sides. So, we'll have log 8 to the power x. This is equal to log 30. Now, you find that log 8 to the power x, this is in the form of log a to the power n, which you can express as n log log a. Applying this power rule property of logarithm, then log 8 to the power x can be expressed as x log 8. This is equal to log 30. The next step is to divide log 8 on both sides, log 8. So let's simplify here so that x is equal to, this is log. Now here we have log 30 over log 8. Now we can express 30 as 6 times 5. Substituting this, we have that x is equal to log 6 times 5 divided by log 8. Now, log 6 times 5, this is in the form of log a times b, which we can express as log a plus log b. Applying this logarithm property, then we'll have that x is equal to log 6 divided by log 8 plus log 5 divided by log 8. We have x is equal to log 6 divided by log 8 plus log 5 over log 8. We can express 6 as 2 times 3. So this implies that x is equal to log 2 times 3 divided by log 8 then plus this is log 5 divided by log 8. Now log 2 times 3 this is in the form of log a times b which you can express as log a plus log b. The next step is that Applying this property, then we have that x is equal to log 2 over log 8 plus log 3 over log 8, then plus log 5 divided by log 8. Now, the next step is that we can express 8 as 2 to the power 3. So this implies that x is equal to log 2 divided by log 8, which is 2 to the power 3, then plus log 3 divided by log 2 to the power 3, then plus log 5 divided by log 2 to the power 3. The next step is that log 2 to the power 3, applying the power rule, that is log a to the power n, which we can express as n log a. Now, applying this property from here, we'll have that x is equal to log 2 divided by log 2 to the power 3 becomes 3 log 2, then plus log 3 divided by 3 log 2, then plus log 5 divided by 3 log 2. So this implies that log 2 and log 2 simplifies here, so that we have x equal to 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3, that is log 3 over log 2, then plus 1 over 3 log 5 over log 2. Log 3 divided by log 2, this is in the form of log A divided by log B, which we can express as log A to base B. 
applying this logarithm property, then we can express x as 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 rock 3 to base 2, then plus 1 over 3 rock 5 to base 2. But since a third is common here, we can factor out a third so that x is equal to 1 over 3 into the parentheses 1 plus rock 3 to base 2 plus rock 5 to base 2. So this is the value of x. Let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. Let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we have that 8 to power x. This is supposed to give us a value of 30. Substituting the value of x, here we have 8 to power 1 over 3 into the parentheses 1 plus rog 3 to base 2 plus rog 5 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 30. The next step is that we can express 8 as 2 to power 3. So here we have 2 to power 3 times 1 over 3 into the parentheses 1 plus rog 3 to base 2 plus rog 5 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 30. Let's simplify here by 3 by 3 so that here we have 2 to power 1 plus rog 3 to base 2 plus rog 5 to base 2. This is equal to 30. The next step is that 2 to power 1 plus rog 3 to base 2 plus rog 5 to base 2. This is in the form of a to power n plus m, which we can express as a to power n times a to power m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 2 to power 1 times 2 to power rog 3 to base 2 times 2 to power rog 5 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 30. Now, we have 2 times 2 to power of 3 to base 2 and 2 to power of 5 to base 2. This is in the form of m to power of a to base m, which essentially is supposed to give us a value of a. Now, applying this logarithm property, then this implies that 2 to power of 3 to base 2, this is equal to 3. And 2 to power rog, 5 to base 2, this is equal to 5. So let's substitute this 2 so that we have here 2 times rog 3 to base 2, this is 3, times 2 to power rog 5 to base 2, which is 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 30. So 2 times 3, this is 6. 6 times 5, this is 30 which is equal to 30. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of x, which is equal to 1 over 3 into the parentheses 1 plus rock 3 to base 2 plus rock 5 to base 2 actually satisfies the equation. We can also express x as 1.6356 so this is the value of x kindly follow the steps like this video and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye